can y'all go ahead and suck super hard so I have to 1v9 so that the other, so that the jibber jabbers will say that I'm awesome? No. Fuck you. I can't, I can't do that. Fuck you. I'd rather not lose against a pistol. No, 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 it's not losing. I just need y'all to look bad so I can look good. So they'll think I'm better than <laughs> fucking mid laners I shit on. Like I've already shit on. Can you do that for me? No. God damn it. It requires making myself look bad. And the fact that I wasn't number one for every one of them fucking people, I'm a little bit hurt by. It's all right. I'll make final, so. Almost like they don't understand that if you don't have terrible teammates, you just look pretty mid because everybody's doing their fucking job. Yeah. Yo, what up, what up? It's your boy, Little Rodney, back here with episode four of the Mine Lane. Um, episode three? I don't know. Math is hard. All I know is we keep winning 2-0, and that's all the numbers I need to count to. <laughs> no, but we are back, uh, and we want to talk about, of course, everything that happened in our CB Rookies games, as well as stuff that has been said on Silver Scraps. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to hop right into it. Supportive. I like. Okay, so I'm going to start here. Y'all talked a lot about TFU. I don't care who TFU's jungler is, unless it's freaking. Don't let me die, and I will. 2017 rain over. We rolling. That's it. All right, you didn't get to the the goodness that CBR brought till like what? Almost 30 minutes into your episode. I mean, come on. Sports Center starts with LeBron headlight highlights. You should be starting with CBR. You should be every other segment CBR, like we LeBron James. Um, I, mean, yeah. I, need, I need one. And I have TP. I need one. So let's talk about this. Don't fight, don't fight. This don't is the most fight, important fight. thing that I can say, honestly, in bronze and silver. Um, and part of the reason my champ pool is what it is. I want to make sure that even if I'm not playing at my best, I have things to offer my team. Um, All right. I'm just going to back. Obviously. Okay. Sunday night, I was not playing my best. Look at your boy. Just getting shit on by Galio. Uh, I think I said it in the previous episode, but basically the only lane that I've lost has been with Galio's. Uh, I should probably figure out how to play in the Galio. Uh, if you want to beat me right now, just play Galio, I guess. I don't know what the fuck to play into him. There you go. Uh, no. Free low. You're too clumped. Yeah. Back off, back so off, like, back off, back you off. see here, look at this, look at this. Here, That's here, a here, big here. stun, big stun. Look at that. There we got one. Got the kill on the Jarvan. Setting up for the dragon now. Look at that. Went from one six and six. I mean, the Malphite never dies. Oh my God, really? But we went from one six and six to two six and nine right there. Uh, why? I mean, part of it is because, honestly... Was that oh a my god. The hate on our bot lane or the disrespect to our bot lane I, is it, stupid. It look like it? I mean, Rook is good, but so is Brave. Walking to the the thing is, we don't need yeah, one person to carry so one person doesn't look like a kid. But you know, uh, that's just, yeah, that's, again, basic maths. We've already covered that. So bad. And so I was talking about this last week about the damage that gets put out. Yeah, their team uh, was really good, but we. Uh, I did not put out good damage. We just team gapped them. Yeah. Yeah, we really did team gap him. We I did not put out good damage well, at all. My but look at look actually. at look at Brave there. Brave is just all right, I'm gonna go to the DPS. Yeah, God, me. they literally built a comp around allowing their Kaisa to pop off. And what did we do? We not allowed their Kaisa to pop off. Uh sometimes you gotta make sacrifices to let your team win. You are not always gonna be the carry. That's I need to get something to drink. Take that to heart, youngins. So I also want to take a shout out to uh, Abyssal Esports or whatever their full name is. I apologize. Um, what the fuck is this draft? This draft is straight out of season four. Protect the Uzi comp fucking RNG looking motherfuckers. And this shit honestly is the most tilting, most 
super effective shit for just fucking with people. I rec- I like, like honestly, I think this draft on another team that was not as mentally strong as us wins. And I'm not even kidding you. Again, you can look at us. We are trailing. We were, we were trailing both of these games, and I don't mean in a like a. So afterwards, so afterwards, swag had actually looked it up, and it turned out we were never really that far behind in gold. But holy shit, does it feel like you're that far behind in gold? Um, if they do all tanks again, man, maybe Viego. Yeah. No, we need like maybe a Castle PS or something like that. Yeah. Like we're I mean, so that we can bust through these tanks. We're we're thinking about what to do. We're thinking about what to do. Maybe one damage to us. Clad falls off. Olive falls off. Could have just gone. Well, I'm just screwed. We need okay. to just keep oh, down. Oh, someone oh, teleported. No, no. That's all you got. That's fine. All right. See, look, we're already talking about it. Somebody's te- teleporting in. Oh, very nice dodge. No, don't. Oh, can't oh. help. This is like... So watch this. Oh we get onto the Twitch. Boom. Okay. Look at your boy. I'm fight oh, boy. that if I can kill them. You know what? A wise... Uh, actually, that's a lie. I shouldn't say wise. But a guy with a beard once said that I always offer what my team needs. And maybe I didn't in game one. But goddamn in game two did I come through. Look at That was such a fantastic snipe onto the Twitch. But hang on. There's more. We don't have any spells. So you were saying something about my bot lane. I can't, man. Well, I can't help but notice me. my guy him off the shit. takes a tower and takes a kill. Just cuz. Yeah, Cled's an annoying okay. champion. Again, if you play Cled, you should play Cled because Cled will fuck with people's minds. But y'all need to put some respect on Brave's name. Okay. This fight right here. Look at your boy. Miss the binding. No, we are not. So hard. Yeah, no, okay, wait, watch, watch, watch. Here comes Cled. Oh, now watch this. Watch this snipe. Oh, hey, Twitch. Just Whoop. Oh, nice. Get that Cled. Get that Cled. Okay. Oh, okay. I, think, we go. There we go. I think we can end here. Yeah. yeah. We can end yeah, yeah. I mean, I could probably just end the episode after that, really. I mean, that's the truth, truth. Um, Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Um, I mean, again, I know this is a community vote, and so I don't really necessarily want to say anything about the other players. But really, though? You going to pick them over me? Really? That's who you going to pick? They had the the league in a draft. You was going to pick them over me. You stupid. Yeah, that's to the whole community. You stupid. <laughs> like, yo, let me know you betting on like some football or basketball or something so I could bet against you because you stupid. Just dumb. But it's okay, though. There's still time to vote. And honestly, what you should do is vote for all five members of Chubby Baby's Rookies because Rook is a beast. Um, Brave is a monster now. I, I I unlocked him one time. I fucking played Seraphine one time, and he took it to heart. He was like, oh, okay. Okay, you got me. You got me. I mean, you already know Swag is good. You already know I'm good. You already know what I'm going to say. I mean, you can put these people up here all you want, but I be eating. I be eating. Rest in peace, Vincent Jackson. So it's whatever, though. Y'all can keep running this jack, jack, jack. Y'all are really quiet. Little Rodney is generally, he's a rock, and a lot of times he capitalizes on those, like, kind of 2v2 skirmishes that happen around mid lane, and then is able to snowball that into uh, just dominating the game, not only in the jungler play, but in the mid lane. I think something a little important to note um, I do rate Little Rodney very highly, but I think his voting is probably a little bit inflated in our minds because. Before last week, he probably would have been lower, and then he went on the stream game, of course, and and so again, uh, just to bother text some more. <laughs> um, but um, hang on, I, let me look at my let me look at my cheat sheet that I got written here. 
Okay, so that is, let me see, Leffer is the one with the beard. Decker is the one that looks like bootleg Thorin. Okay, Tex is the one who looks at like left at London. And um, Colonel is the one who looks like he's 12. Okay, Colonel, Colonel, dog. I don't have to solo carry. So I don't have to play like I have to solo carry. I don't know how to put it any more particular. Um, I don't have to. I mean, shout out to people like Skeleton who do play hard carry all day, every day. But dog, that leaves you one option. You shut down a talent, what you got? Some pixels. Fucking wasted processing on your uh, video card. You shut down a Zed, what you got? Motherfucker can't even split push. Just, oh, he ult the boop. Bye. You shut down an Oriana, you can still get big balls. You shut down uh, uh, <laughs> big balls. You shut down a an Anivia, you can still do all these other things. This is part of being multifaceted that I was trying to talk to y'all about last time, where you have five, six, seven ways you can win the game. So even if somebody is getting shut down, like I was in game one, you can still offer something for your teammates other than, well, I can't do damage. I guess I'm just here. Oh, I got to go steal all this farm from my own teammates who are already doing ahead because, well, um, I don't do anything if my champion doesn't do damage. Nah. That's not how you play in comp, and that's why I don't play like that. I play to make sure my teammates are safe and make sure we get incremental leads, get incremental items, uh, make sure we rotate better, make sure we are all enabled, not just myself, all, so that then we can have these stomps. And you're like, well, how did they turn it on? Well, we kept going and kept going. We took a little bit and a little bit and a little bit without taking any risk, and then we went, all right, we got them. Let's go. And that's it. That's all you have to do. And um, this is why I kind of I chafe under that analysis. Yeah. I mean, I don't have to play like a fucking bat out of hell. So I don't. It's I mean, it's a high risk, high reward play style. And why would you ever do that when you would if you fail, you let your teammates down. That's trash. I can't put little Rodney any higher until i see him do that again i feel like but first time i just smashed a dude you told me was better than me even in game one really he couldn't hold up when i'm playing a support in mid lane and you now gonna tell me he better than me better than me in hindsight come on he does it better than me i can look like an idiot but i can't confidently say that he is up there until he proves that A, it happens more than once, and B, it happens more than on Tristana, which I think is is one of his only real true 1v9 champs. If okay, he maybe fair. And he could do it against anybody else. I did it against the dude you got on the screen. The be. dude you just had on the screen. Fuck you mean. I don't think he's perfect. I, I have little Rodney as up there in the same tier that I have Vinny and Chinese spy. I appreciate uh, that. I, I, first of all, the man smokes a nice cigar. I do. He is, he is great taste. I have to, have to, to call that out. We're actually going to smoke some Cahibas Friday night. Blade. Great shot with the cigar. Um, but Rodney in particular, the thing that I, I really like about Rodney is compared to Vinny or skeleton where they are making it very, very clear and pushing um, pushing for those leads, pushing for those kills. Rodney is much more of that um, maximum kind of player, right? Where he is diffusing. He is not... He's gaining leads by denying the other player from getting leads right uh, now I'm thank you seeing, that's actually really good I analysis seen a game yet where i can go yeah yeah rodney just got hard gapped here or rodney just wasn't able to perform he may not have well ha 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 game one i proved you wrong again <laughs>